It's been about six months now since Microsoft introduced a new feature into Excel to add images into cells. Uh, and one of the really cool things about this is your ability to use things like offset, VLOOKUP, index match, XLOOKUP. You can reference an image in a cell now just as you would any other data. There is one feature that could be added to make it even more useful, and that would be the ability to set the color of the icons or the pictures from the cell itself using something like the font color specifically for instances when you're using the icon set so for example if I go in and add uh, in the cell an icon from the icon sets here I can't now change the color of this what would be ideal would be to be able to pick that again with the font color or something but we can't do that so instead what I have to do uh, because I, even if I for example pop the image out the cell this isn't actually an icon this is a picture and so I can do all the picture color corrections and stuff like so I can recolor it and I can fill in the background but I can't change this like I could. So for example, if I just insert an icon, I can go ahead and change the fill quite easily. So that would be something that would be an amazing feature to have. The only way around that, you could do something where you group objects and then paste back as a picture, place in cell. I can do that. But yeah, ideally, if you were using the icon image type, you'd want to be able to manipulate it directly through something like the font swatch or something, since, again, that isn't being used. Hopefully this year is the year we see an overhaul of all the conditional formatting in general. In particular, the icon sets for the conditional formatting. These haven't changed in a few years, perhaps a decade, and it'd be good to be able to use these, combine these, or use them in conjunction with the uh, the new uh, picture and cell feature. I mean, that would be ideal if you could do conditional formatting and then bring in, you know, the the icon sets as cell references. That would be fantastic. Maybe this year could be the year that we see an overhaul of conditional formatting.